Some things are just women's work. This side with a hammer, like on that side with a hammer. You hit it, turn it. <laughs> and you hit it and you turn it a bit, and the other bloke would hit it, turn it. And that went on for about say 10 hours, you know, mm -hmm. swinging these great things. Mm -hmm. and if they got a hole about a metre deep in the day, that was a really good day. And this hard bony stuff. Yeah. If you turn your lights off, you see the conditions out of the work under. Oh, and this one, oh, thank you. They got that bad with the dust, oh, you get lead dust in your system, you can't get rid of it. And they got that bad, they couldn't sleep laying down, they had to sleep sitting up, prop their arms up to try and expand their chest a bit to get a bit of air in them. <laughs> By 40, most of them were dead, you know. <laughs> but that's all they knew, they were really pure lead. Oh, yeah. 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 I reckon it's a bit of that. Like a lot of cattle, you got all these gorse sunk all around this one, about 90 metres deep, the groundwater. And you've got these jack pumps sent out to pump the water out. So they bore a hole about 100 metres deep, tip these on it, case the hole. It's about 30 foot high. That's set over the shaft. See the wheel at the top? This rope here used to go off of that, through the wheel, down the hole. That's needs to load the gear up now. That's a, that's a kibble bucket, we call it. You make a round one. In the old days, there's no timber in the shaft. And you, you can try to lower a truck up and down if you're getting caught up in the corners. And, round ones they sort of shimmy the way through you know pull them up slow sort of bounce off slowly maybe that a steel rope that'll stick into a little finger it's around from the top right the way down the bottom at each level you got a bloke called a platman and on the level there it's like flat with the ground the big wooden door out the door you know platman he brings he was there to load it unload it whatever you have to do thing here will reverse Same thing, just scratch it around. There is a little pair of old chalk scratch around the dirt. And the head of chicken mine. Just following a big vein of silver. It goes down and around the corner, about 30 metres. But when you get down about 20 feet, the temperature drops to 45 degrees here in summer. So when you go down 20 feet, it drops down to about 25 degrees. Yeah, it's brilliant. Sorry. I don't know where do you press it? On top. On top? Hmm. Wait till we get down there, I'll do it. Oops. Oops. Yeah, this is a bit of mould in this piece here. They don't this way? Roll, that one. Wow. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they call these shoots. These go down about another 30 metres. Same thing, they just follow the silver. And it runs out, they stop. This little more backfill. They unbelievable. Yeah. These are bits of galena, this shiny stuff here. Little bits in there. All this stuff here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's a street in Broken Hill called Galena, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter lives there. Oh, Galena there you go. Street, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a strange word. Oh, <laughs> Glenn is like really is. rich lead. Yeah, right, yeah. there you go. You never learnt something today. Well, I've learnt lots. Is that all you learnt today? Oh, yeah, yeah. Try yours. Hold it up. See if it sparkles like that, that rock you've got. Next quiz night. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.